Hello there, I'm a member of the training team, and today I'm going to show you how to use the aging report. This report allows you to track what balances are outstanding and for how long. To open this report, click on Reports, then Billing Analytics, then Aging. This will open the aging report. This report is incredibly versatile, and the pre-configured set of data from the first drop down at the bottom is what will appear in the first columns. These are the same criteria that are in the Billing Stats drop-down. You can customize your report by creating your own combination of criteria by going to Reports, then Billing Analytics, then Billing Stats Config. See the Billing Stats Config help page for more info. The Number of Claims column shows how many claims the other numbers in the report are referencing. The Number of Charges column shows the number of charges or procedures with a balance due. The stratification periods break down the outstanding balance based on how long it has been outstanding. For example, I can see how much money is outstanding for Cigna PPO on claims in the first 0-29 to 29 days since the claims were first loaded. If I keep reading the report, it shows how much money in charge is outstanding for each stratification period after that. These stratification periods are customizable as well. Go to Reports, then Billing Analytics, then Aging Config. You can create a custom stratification in here. See the help page on Aging Config for more information. The Balance column shows the total balance still due on all outstanding claims to make up that row. Now let's take a look at the bottom of this report. As I mentioned before, select the criteria that will appear in the first column or columns in the Criteria dropdown. A particular rendering physician can be selected here in the Physician dropdown if necessary. Select the set of stratification periods in the Stratification Periods drop-down. Select which first date you wish to run the report off in the Date Loaded, Date Submitted, or First Statement Date drop-down. This is the date the stratification periods start counting from. Select whether to view as a percent of the total AR balance or the actual dollar amount in the total AR balance or percent AR balance dropdown. If you check the insurance only checkbox, this report will only look at insurance claims. This report will include claims and collections if this is checked. This report will only look at claims that are bill co-responsibility if this is checked. This means that the report will not look at private pay or any payers you may work in-house. It also won't look at the collection status. Now I'll give you an example of how you can use this report. I'll run the report with the CPT payer criteria so that you can study how long it takes a payer to pay for certain procedures. I'll click on Search to get started. As you can see, you can study this report to identify payment issues per CPT in your practice. Well, that's all there is to this video. We hope that you found it helpful, and if you did, go ahead and click Like at the bottom of the page. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.